Hi everyone, my name is Delilah aka Asasina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today me and Matt aka Link Look Listen are going to be watching the Sony State of Play on January 31st. We know for a fact that they're going to be talking about games that are going to come out like Helldivers and Stellar Blade, but I'm hoping that they show some stuff on Metal Gear Solid Delta, 3 Delta, Snake Delta. Eater, no, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, and Silent Hill 2. That'd be cool, right? Yeah. Woo. I just hope that like everything other than like Stellar Blade and, and Metal Gear, like like you said, or um, Stellar Blade and Helldivers. Um, I just hope that this isn't like the year of remakes and remasters. That isn't all I want to see. Yeah. It's cool, but it's not all I want to see. Yeah, I think this is just a state of play to push what's to come. Mm. Right. I just don't want what's to come to be remakes and remasters. <laughs> That's all. Cuteness. Hell divers. Well, no, yeah. Great deal at $40. Yeah, looks like it probably could be fun if you have a hankering for a shooter. Not like Outriders vibes over here. I'm probably not gonna buy it, honestly, unless I have nothing else to play, but I'm sure, pretty sure I have something else to play because Pal World exists. And among, among other games, I'll probably be playing Final Fantasy at some point. Oh, this, who knows though? This is just like, power world anyway no it wishes <laughs> you don't catch power but you're able to kill <laughs> hi everyone i'm herman hulst head of playstation studios and i'm honored to present the first state of play of 2024 the first three right, years of PS5 have given us incredible stories, immersive worlds and groundbreaking gameplay from PlayStation Studios and their partners. We've also expanded PlayStation Plus. I haven't even gotten out of my work clothes. PS5 game stream. <laughs> and with yeah, PSVR yeah, 2 can't wait to put on my jam jams. Portal, last November, <laughs> we're committed to offering new and surprising ways for our audience to interact with their PS5. But none of this means anything without great games, like Helldivers 2, which kicks off a year of amazing experiences. Bro, that's like tomorrow. To play. Today, we're looking ahead <laughs> to titles coming later this year and beyond, with extended games and beyond and announcements we hope good. find as exciting as we do here at PlayStation. That's the good news. Enjoy the show. Or maybe they have to say that because they don't have dates for certain things. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Stella Blade. That's a cool jacket. You saw the clear shit in the back? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, that was dope. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't like the front, but it was it's a like shirt. A, yeah, it's a shirt. It's a shirt with yeah. plastic on the back. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. The story begins on post apocalyptic It's like Nier Automata. Yeah. What One the mysterious f enemy called the Nativa has forced the human race to flee to an off world colony. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Nativa. I know you're gonna play this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hack and slash weeb game. During their descent from the colony, sort of. Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, like is in pursuit of an energy source Step. called Hypersound. Make sure to stay cautious. Wow, the characters are named Adam the Alpha and, and Eve. Yeah. This, this that like has never percent. been done before. That is crazy. Wow. Well, you know, if you're talking about Metal Gear Solid 3, it was codenamed Adam and Eve. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Artemis. She puts her, tech puts her technical knowledge to use by uh -huh. upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. Yeah. Done. Something does feel different. Great, you unlock double jump. <laughs> Spoilers. This is Zion, a city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on Earth. A whole city underneath the wasteland. 
Eve is called Angel, Angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe and fear. I'm not selling anything to you. They'll seem a bit wary at first, but will gradually loosen up <laughs> as Eve shows a commitment to rebuilding the city. Hello, Angel. How are you? I see we have guests. Well, I can't believe the Angel is here. The survivors will sometimes ask Eve for help. Please save my younger sister. Of course, side quests. Their requests will often lead her to the wasteland and the great desert. Because nobody else can do shit for themselves. This place has been overrun by Nativas. And malfunctioning machines and robots. A supply camp in a place like this. You'll the costumes are cool. Set up by previous a little bit spots. ostentatious, but you know, whatever. At each camp, Eve can purchase various consumable <laughs> items. Acquire new skills. Upgrade equipment and more. She can Classic. also take a well-deserved break to restore her health. Huh. Eve will often encounter people in need. And other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether yes, assist help that poor that thing. Is entirely it's probably not even that. <laughs> it's probably way more to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On her journey to I wonder how existential this game will get. sometimes mm. encounter hostile survivors. Or... Yeah. Something worse. I wish they would have showed a little more combat. Oh, maybe they will. Oh, look, her hair's long as fuck. What are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nitiba? It looks terrible, though. <laughs> like, the hair animation. You mean, they're trying. Are they? Right? <laughs> <laughs> to the point of your existence. It's like a blurry, a lot of blurriness there. Well, especially after seeing GTA V's hair animations, it it's kind of like... It's fine. Well, I can do this. Yeah, it's like... I, I feel like hair... <laughs> Certain and games it looks great these days, but in others it looks so bad because of the upscaling squad. technology that they're using. It really, really messes I hair up. Yeah. Because the, the game usually runs at like one resolution, and the, and the PlayStation it upscales it. It's, it's, it's windy. runs at one, but plays at another. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm glad that long hair is being represented because. <laughs> Uh, upscaling wasn't on consoles. The drone is different. <laughs> this is no longer the drone you knew. Raiden, I want to see. Sit. <laughs> Sit. They have like, such anime music right now. <laughs> oh, she got the Sailor Scout outfit. Let's go. They got a lot of costumes. I mean, it doesn't look like anything I haven't seen or played before, but right. I feel like it'll still be fun. Yeah. As long as the combat is good, that's fine. A lot of people are probably gonna play it. Oh, shit, it's coming out soon, April yeah. 26th. Wow. Game Director in Kim Young-tae. This game is for a long time to be able to play the game. Wait, how did he move there? And PlayStation Studio. 전폭적인 지원 덕분에 그 꿈을 현실화 할수 있게 되었다. That's a good uh, release date for that game, I think. There's not anything else coming out around that time. 4월 26일 스텔라 블레이드 April 26th. Shift up, whatever shift up is. I don't quite remember. I know they mentioned it before, but I don't remember what it is. Is it not just the same game? Uh, what shift up? I thought that was developer of Stellar <laughs> Blade, no? Uh, may maybe I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> it says something about shift up. I don't think it's shift up. <laughs> of course they play that music for him. I know this isn't surprising, but he's actually my favorite Sonic character. Of course, I like the freaking emo <laughs> dark. <laughs> I wish I would have saw more. That looked pretty cool. Although I've lost faith in Sonic games lately. Did you play Sonic Mania? I didn't play Sonic Mania and I didn't play Sonic... The newer one. Yeah. Right? Frontiers? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't play that, but Mania was great. I'm sure they're fun. I just, you know, so many games, I gotta be a little picky. I only play bangers nowadays, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like Power World. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same people I think that made um, that super popular game. Uh, it, its name is just leaving me. Games of Service, we game was kind of like... Genshin Impact. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think so. I think they're the ones that did mm. Genshin, right? I can't remember anything after work, you know? My brain just gets fried. <laughs> Foam stars. <laughs> this is going to be a free-to-play game, so I'm probably... Oh, shit! That's like tomorrow! Wait, why would they be releasing this alongside Helldivers? I feel like that's a mistake. I think it's obvious which one's gonna do better. The free one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I, there's something about it that I oh, like. he's a wrestler, I gotta play. <laughs> like, it has like a very 90s like aesthetic, like 90s video game mm -hmm. arcade aesthetic to it, and I like that. I put these in my calendar. Very soon. That's literally tomorrow, basically. It said it said something about it's a March fourth, no extra cost. I don't know. I don't know what it said because oh. we have this thing blocking. I guess it's like a limited time. I don't know. Oh yeah, we saw this weird ass game before, didn't we? Oh. Dave the Diver. Yeah. Yeah, this is this was pretty it, popular on Steam. I I guess it's coming to PlayStation now, which is cool. <laughs> and that's it, yeah, I guess. <laughs> they don't what? need to show anything what? more. What? What? Oh, what? What? Oh, what the Godzilla? <laughs> you heard that music drop, you're like, wait a minute. Dave the Diver has Godzilla. <laughs> you're gonna play it they right now. They got fucking now. nuclear Godzilla. Dude, dude, that is fucking <laughs> awesome. That is sick. That's a good, that's a good, like, Holy collaboration. Crap. Yeah, that's fucking cool. That's what I'm talking about, man. I don't want remakes or remasters. I want to see cool shit like that. Yeah. Is this, for a second, I was like, is this Hades? But no, I don't think so. Castlevania? Right? That's what I'm thinking. That looked like Alucard. Oh yeah, coming out of the coffin also. That looked like... Probably not Castlevania. I don't want to get myself excited. <laughs> well, it looks like a top-down, like, dungeon crawly type game. Yeah. Roguelike. Yeah. Everything's a roguelike. Yeah. Wow, that's what you could build? That's sick. V. Something with a V in it. 
V right vampire vampire rising. What V rising? It's v rising. Some, yeah, it's called V rising. Yeah. <laughs> Which stands for vampire, perhaps? But maybe. maybe they couldn't get the copyright to Hi it or everyone. something. I don't know. I'm Sean Benson. <laughs> this next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return of a horror franchise that has oh. been with us since the original PlayStation. Let's oh. take a look at what's next for Silent Hill. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Not now, Raiden. Maybe I can be like her. Why is it first person? No, this is this this isn't inside? Okay, so this is a different silent mm -hmm. hill frame. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure which one it is though. Like there's a bunch like Ascension and that weird Japanese <laughs> one. I'll still play the fuck out of this though. Yeah, it looks great. Short message. Oh, play to play. cool. <laughs> they didn't have to do that again. I know, right? Konnichiwa. Okay. Hill series of producer of Tsumeru Okamoto Motoi des. Mm-hmm. I see you got Pyramid Head on your shirt. I see you got Pyramid Head on your shirt. I see you got Pyramid Head on your shirt. I see you got Pyramid Head on your shirt. I see you got Pyramid Head on your shirt. I see you got Pyramid Head on your shirt. コナミが送る現代を舞台にした最高の時間のホラーをぜひ体験してください。それでは最後にこちらの映像をご覚えください。イエーイ。プリーズオブサイレントヒルツー。アイホープ。ドンケットエクサイティング。オッケー、サイレ
frog in a pot, boiling wow. so slowly. You don't even know what's happening. But I'm here to set you free, whether you like it or not. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. What is happening? Ooh, clean play. Are there any plasmids? Yes, let's go. <laughs> oh shit. What is that? Ew. <laughs> nice. We got telekinesis? Maybe? I guess they can't blow their load. Fix what you broke. All right, it looks weird as shit. The yeah. gameplay looks very similar to Bioshock, so that could be fun. I'd love to see what a modern Bioshock-esque game is like. Hmm. Stare into the flame. Okay. Think of this fire. I am thinking. It's warmth. It's energy. The VR game, I think. Hmm. Now, focus your mind on your wife and step into. I was thinking Stalker 2, but it's a VR game, so probably not, because that game hasn't come out yet. It does have like Metro vibes, though, you're right. I can't remember the name of the dude that made Metro. Miss <laughs> ah! Nice. Yes. Awakening VR. Cool. Much was fun. Yeah, the last one I played I thought was okay, but I still liked it enough to platinum it. <laughs> it's so good. It's a, a lot cool of good one. games they're showing. Um, I guess it's good they're showing VR some love, right? No, not that I'm gonna buy one, but... <laughs> like <laughs> a classic fun fantasy RPG in VR. Legendary Tales action role playing game. Hmm. Right, I wish you would stay still, baby boy. Good boy, stay there. He's gonna knock something over. Yeah, or he's gonna shut down the video. Arisen one. Ah, yes, Monster I Hunter. Make no mistake. The dragon will appear before you when the time is come. <laughs> Shank. Cool. You truly are formidable, Arisen. It looks even better.
Looks like are uh, am I they're adding more classes? Is this Monster Hunter? <laughs> no, I, it's not. I, I mean Medieval Monster Hunter? I don't, I don't know. It, it, yeah, it, right. I thought it was at first because <laughs> Monsters. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe hunting. <laughs> And it was Capcom. Watch them say the name and we'll be like, oh. Or maybe not. I mean, what the? What? Oh, Dragon's Dogma. See, okay. You see, you see. Uh, see, I never played Dragon's Dogma, yeah. but I hear it's kind of like Dark Souls. Then again, everyone compares everything to Dark Souls. Okay. Right, but this is made by Capcom. And they haven't made a Souls hey, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Rise of the Ronin is a free and wide scale of open world action RPG. The more I see on this game, the less I like it. Mm -hmm. The more I see on this game, the less I like it. But it's also because I really haven't played the other, other games from this studio. And... I don't know, I'd just rather play. <laughs> Uh, other games. <laughs> like, I haven't played. I haven't. I played Neo, but I haven't finished it. I played Wolong, but I haven't finished it. I don't even know if this is gonna be anything like those games, but it's just like, at a certain point, it's like, alright. <laughs> alright, it seems different. Yokohama is. 19th世紀幕末の時代,最初に国外に開かれたYokohama バトヨウが入り混じった独特の街並みが広がっています。主人公はアビキルを使って高所から滑空し上空を移動することも可能です。Everyone's like we need to have some kind of wingsuit for parasail. 攻撃やガードを駆使しながら yeah, this is just like Neo and shit. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, it does. It's just, you know. At a certain point, games start to look the same and feel the same. At a certain point, that happened like ten years. I know. Ago. <laughs> but especially this studio, because they make similar types of games. Like I know, Wolong was in like a different, like was Chinese Chinese history versus Japanese. But I don't know. I'll probably eventually play it, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, there has to be nothing out. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
He couldn't stay still. No. He's probably going to go howl now. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Rady. We got like 10 minutes. Something like that. Oh, shit. I had a call. Ballistic moon. Things I need to make sure you understand. The no, voice sounded very familiar. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. It was just a prank, man. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. The choice. Is I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you Sorry. play your game. Oh. Sam. Looking for me. Oh, right. They're making until dawn. Again. Again, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't really looking because I'm trying to do this real quick, yeah, yeah. so... But, eh, it's a good game. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Death Stranding too. The beach. What the hell? That cat had the goo on him! What the f- is that- oh my god. That's what's her name? Fragile? Yeah. Fragile. Her hair got longer. <sighs> what is that on her? I guess it's like a mask? I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Yo. Oh god. I hate this. No. Oh. oh shit. Oh, they resurrected him? Baby. Jim is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam. What the hell? And to the G8 v Magellan, our mother base of operations. Come on, I'll have mother base. Bearing. This is the ship's armory. Here you can check your weapons and put them through their paces. <laughs> These rooms over here belong to other members of the crew. They're pretty much the same as yours. And the shower's down at the end. This is one hell of a ship you got here. Courtesy of the UCA, I'm guessing. No. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face to face. They value their privacy. Seriously, no better the than believe that are, bullshit. Just move and they're around her neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the same deal as America. The people here are all spread out, cut off from one another. We want you to help us bring the world together. What the hell? <clears throat> Sam, would you mind if what I join you? Thing? Humor him. Mm. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down oh the road. Oh my god. Yes. It's in like stop motion. Really, and then it's not. <laughs> Your buttocks. What about wow. shotgun? Only when it moves. I prefer the driver's seat. <laughs> Sam, do you read me? Wow. You'll first need to access the Mexico side plate gate terminal. I can't After believe this much of this game coverage, is like showable right now. 
Yeah, it's probably gonna come out is, next year. Wants to be part of the UCA. I'd say this year. That's not the plan, Sam. Yeah, maybe. The UCA isn't looking to expand its borders. Wow. Damn, Just like Gina. With Mexico, they want to bring new regions into the network. Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to back you up. As always, you'll be the Holy one who wow. need to expand the network. Oh, look, What's he has little robots to help him with the packages. The commander. That's right. These days, I'm fragile in name only. You brought America together. Helped it be reborn as the UCA. Damn. Do you know how many people worked on over. that bridge? Humanity is still in danger. Still on the brink of extinction. Whoa. Don't act like what? you What? Oh my god. A lot of things changed after you went <gasps> off on your own. Especially within the use I kind of really like the boss fights in Death Stranding. The Bridges whale no enemy was so cool. It's so network. cool, cool. They withdrew once things were up and running. Even uh, even Black Kitty looks good. What was it called? Ways. The strands? Within network coverage. I forgot. There's no need to rely on human porters anymore. <laughs> so after I closed up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions outside the UCA. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. Okay, so With Sam Drawbridge. <laughs> Sam Drawbridge. Instead of Sam Porter Humanity Bridges. Will be free from the need Sam Porter to Drawbridges. <laughs> Bots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. He called himself a ghost, but... He found a way back from the beach just so he could kill us. He said he came back to get revenge on you and me. Hey, brother. <laughs> Did you miss me? Yeah, I figured you'd pay this place a visit. Seeing as how I've been distributing the fruits of this fine factory all over the continent. With guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it ever was. <laughs> he looks even oh. creepier. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go round. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? Hey, buddy. Are you just another. You leave him alone! Little house, huh? right. you stop it! <laughs> he hits him. Where's the rest of your band? No. Well, ain't that something? Was it you, Heads? I like his black makeup huh? better. <laughs> Was it you that killed Lou? You still don't know, do you? Fuck! Whoa. What the hell? That's cool as fuck. Wait. Is that what the what the BBs become? Y yeah, that was BB's voice. Yeah. Yo, they're spoiling everything in this trailer. No, they're not. <laughs> Power slide. <laughs> Something he said. You don't know a goddamn thing about Lou. All right, Sam. Let's see what we can find on Lou. If you want answers, you're gonna have to find them yourself. But the ones you do find, Aww. well, that pain you nurse. Honestly, the ending to Death Stranding was sad. <laughs> it's Sam, the man in the dark about everything. Don't forget, coming on this expedition was meant to help you find the strength to carry on. And you have. We all know you've got this. Now it's time to finish the journey, Sam. <laughs> Please understand, wow. Sam. Useful. They're everything. They're a mask. There's cigarette light. <laughs> we never meant to string you along. Both. Oh, they fell. Oh, thick and rope to 
protect and connect. Something. It was filled with a fluid that contained amino acids. One's identical in structure to the kind found in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you think that chiral creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. I was there. I saw her home. It was a hellhole. You see, after you left Bridges, I decided there's to more do though. This after is the like show, the whole game. After the show, the title. There's more. <laughs> yeah. <but laughs> Someone forgot to hit the pause button or something. Long before you and Lou first met. Aww. I told you, 2025. Mm. Oh, so Crazy. weird. Crazy. He's one of a kind, for sure. Yeah. Oh, God. I, it feels like they're getting and rid of the walking simulator today, stuff. Visionary game creator and founder of Kojima Productions, Kojima Song. Okay. okay. Today, I'm Who's excited gonna translate? to Oh, I, I guess together. I have subtitles. As part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure, one that I've been encouraging him to reinvent for years. Hi, uh, original IP. It's a new action espionage game. So after the Shiny 2, he's going to be working on a new espionage game. Yep. That's right, you sure did. That's right, you sure sure did. That's right, you sure did. That's right, you sure did. Hmm. A new action oh. wow. game by Hideo Kojima. This is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit with a bold new vision. Can you share anything else about this new development? え、まだ詳しくは言えませんけども、え、再先端のテクノロジーと、え、世界中の才能を集結して作る予定です。え、もちろんインタラクティブなゲームなんですけども、え、ルックものがたりテーマ、キャスト、演技、ファッション、サウ